I am finally back. Um, I'm pretty excited. I don't know how many videos I'll be able to make in the next, I don't know, month or so. But for now, I do have something for y'all and I'm really excited to finally get back into making videos again. It's been a crazy, crazy ride these past couple of months. It's been about uh, seven months that have just been kind of crazy. And I don't think I've made a video in like seven months either. But today I'm bringing y'all two build and battle kits from the newest set, Rebel Clash. And there's a few cards that I'm kind of looking to get, like Toxtricity. And I think there is a Dragapult as well, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully, hopefully I'll pull those. But anyways, there's a lot of changes have been happening. Ah, I can't get this guy open. As y'all know, in, in some of my previous videos, if you remember that we moved to Ireland and once we moved things just financially weren't too good so due to that I, I wasn't able to buy any Pokemon cards uh, too often or obviously make any videos because well didn't have the money to um, buy the cards but now because of this whole virus thing we are back in Canada just because there's more we're more established there so we decided to come back over here and um, get to work and try to get some debt and stuff paid off and and see what happens from there. Hopefully we'll get to go back one day, but for now, I'm back to opening cards and things are hopefully going to start looking up in, in my YouTube, uh, making videos, career, whatever you want to call it. It's not really a career, but still, it'd be nice if it was. Anyways, um, as you can see, we have a flat bowl. Sword and Shield Rebel Clash Build and Battle Deck Kit. I don't, I don't know what you call these, but I'm not going to open them just because I like to try and sell them sealed. So uh, I don't know what's inside of them. If I had more Build and Battle Kits, then I would, but since I only have two, I'm going to keep them sealed. If that one's a Flapple and the other one, here, you know what? I'll go, ahead and, I'll go ahead and open this one so that way we can right away see. And if there's another Flapple in this one, then I'll open one of them and keep the other sealed. But if there's not, then I will keep both of them sealed. Alrighty, and this one is a Colossal. So yeah, I'm going to keep these sealed just because I want to try and sell them sealed. And maybe I'll get a couple more. The guy that I bought them from a local card, at a local card shop, he might still have some here in a little while. So we'll see though, we'll see. As you can see, my background is actually really beautiful. I love these cards. I bought this one on eBay. Graded that one myself, graded that one myself, and graded that one myself. I was really happy with that one, and was expecting that one to get a 10, but it didn't. I, I think I actually showed that in my pre, one of my previous videos, so I, I don't need to explain that to y'all. But anyways, let's get cracking. Uh, like, I don't want to ruin the fun and the, <clears throat> I guess, whether it's a rare or not. So I'm going to go like this. There's a code card. Obviously, four to the front. One, two, three, four. Let's see. I love these energies. We, my wife and I, already opened a few packs. Uh, with these, buying these build and battle kits, they gave um, three extra packs with each kit that I bought. So we opened those together and pulled a couple of cool ones, I guess. Intellion, V card, and I forget that other one. The one that looks like a little cotton ball, V card as well. Aside from that, I don't think there was any hollows. The rest were just. Um, on a rare, I guess non hollows. Voltorb and the rare is a Lux Ray. Ah, so all hollows are like that. I don't know how I like that. <laughs> to be honest with you, I don't know if I like those hollows. That's a nice card though, anyways. Alrighty, on to the next one. We'll go from side to side and kind of get them open together. I'm really happy to be back though. I'm really happy to be making videos again. I hope I hope I get some secret rares in this. My build and battle kits have always been really lucky, but again, I love these energies. That is just <laughs> way better than the sword. Uh, sorry, this. What was the last sets again? I forgot. But anyways, capacious bucket. Let's actually look at it for a little bit. Search your deck for up to two water energy cards. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. I still haven't gotten into the the TCG part of things. I've wanted to, but just never really have had the time. I'm constantly working and. Busy. Oh, Dreepy. Nice. 
so yeah, to actually get into it, you have to be dedicated to it. I, I thought I saw something shiny up there, but it was just the edge, just kind of a little bit of silvering there. Ludicolo non-hollow rare. Nice. The artwork, though, so far, I'm pretty impressed with. I don't mind it at all. There was a few cards that we pulled in the six packs that we opened, just the regular cards. The art is, is beautiful, and some of them. There was a Metapod that looked pretty weird, but aside from that, I, I think I like the art. Metal Energy, Hat, Hatrim, Caracol, Beware, Pidove, Helioptile, Voltorb, Sandy Gast, and Vulpix. The reverse is a Morgrim, and the rare is a Bolton V card. I don't know what to say about Bolton, guys, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Bolton is an interesting. I wish there was a third evolution for it, then I would like it. But it just seems like a second evolution kind of dog to me. But, you know, there's people out there that do like it, so I'm not going to complain about it too much. I don't mind it. But definitely not my first choice in cards. For electrical, I definitely would be going for Toxtricity. And hopefully we get to see him in this building battle kits as well. Leaf Energy, Lombre, Halucha, and Indidi, Wingle, Natu, Barboach, Scovit, Applin. The reverse is a Vulpix, and the rare is a non holoization Or Z Zaken? I think it's Zacian. I think that's what I've been hearing from everybody. And let me know down in the comments, too, what y'all think of the new set. And even just the new, um, I guess, generation in general. I personally have liked Sword and Shield so far. I've, been, I've played the game through, and now just kind of working on getting my team set up and trying to get perfect IVs on them and trying to get shinies. Maybe not perfect IVs, but at least really good IVs. And trying to get them shiny. So far, I've only gotten a Dreepy shiny. And I like that, of course. I'm, I'm happy with that, but <laughs> it is tough to get, man. Like, I have I have my shiny charm, and it took me a good 700 eggs before I was able to... See, it's like, that's pretty cool. <laughs> it has a a fossil in the back or an imprint or something. I don't know exactly what that is. But anyways, it took me like literally like 700 eggs to get that shiny. And you get pretty discouraged. The rare is a sto stone journer hollow. That's pretty good. But yeah, you kind of get discouraged when you're cracking that many eggs and not getting any shinies. But that's part of it. You have to be patient, I guess. And I don't know if I have the patience to do that with the rest of my team. Like, I'll... Go ahead and give them some good IVs, but to get them shiny too, I don't know. That's a little bit of a tough one. One, two, three, four. But I enjoy the new generation quite a bit, I think. And the Pokemon too, I really like the new ones. There's, of course, the few that are kind of weird, but that's with every generation pretty much. There's always the one or two that look a little strange and you don't really like as much. Bolton, for example. Reverse is a Ringle, and the rare is a Boss's Order. Ooh, with a Hollow Bleed as well. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. That's pretty good. I like that. Well, not necessarily. I don't know about that, but the 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 Hollow Bleed is what I'm talking about. All right, we're down to our last two. Let's see what we can get. So far, no secret rares. Hopefully, that's going to change here. There's the code. Oh, and it's white code. I flipped that one upside down, so... Prepare for something shiny, at least hollow anyways. Fighting Energy, Paula Sand, Training Court, Lampant. I love this Pokemon. Scovit, Mr. Mime. See, like Galarian Mr. Mime. I don't know. I, I can't get behind it, I don't think. Maybe eventually, one of these days. But for now, not a big fan. Barboach, Aerocuda, Charge a Bug, and the Rare. Ah, just a regular hollow. Whoa, no, actually, that's not even hollow. I guess the code cards don't signify whether or not it's a hollow anymore. That must be what it is. Sorry about the mess there. And for the final pack, can we get something good? Hopefully. We need to see a secret rare. I was really hoping for something really shiny. 
I'm happy with the bolt on, but that's just not enough. Like, you know, I want more. One, two, three, four. Psychic energy. Another psychic energy. Horror energy. What is this? As long as this card is attached to the Pokemon, it provides a psychic energy. If the psychic Pokemon this card is attached to is in the active spot and is damaged by an opponent's attack, even if it is knocked out, put two damage counters on that attack. Oh, interesting. Pop the Toad. Morgrim. Nose Pass. Wingle. Coughing. I think there is something good in the back there. Toxel. Litwick. Galarian. Mr. Mime. And come on. Come on. Ah, oh, yes. Cinderace. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but that works for me. I'm pretty happy with that. That's that's last. That's the last pack. All right. Let's do just a quick recap. And this is all we got. But I'm happy with it. I'm happy that I'm able to make videos again. And hopefully they're going to be coming out pretty consistent. At least one a week. Hopefully. Hopefully, I'm working towards some things too. I'm working to become a retailer. So there might even be uh, openings because of that. Buy a couple of booster boxes, open them up and send them off to PSA to get them graded or, or sell them as singles. We'll see. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it. But anyways, thank y'all for watching. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and y'all have a fantastic day.